Your legs are not showing, are they? This is not... Uh, oh, good. Long socks. Very good. Oh, good. oh my God. Here I am. All right. You never know when the weather could turn. We're from Vermont. Yes. Hi, how you doing? I'm hanging in. How are you? I'm not so bad. It's good to have you here. I might be from an alternate universe. I don't know. But what I said to myself was, we don't get a fair shot in the mainstream media. So I said, what the heck? What the hey? What, what the, the hell? hell? What the hell? Yeah. I would interview myself. So here we are. All right. Something you have said before, and something I have said, and maybe something that we have both said every time we've ever said anything, is that for far too long, the top 1% of the top 10% of the top 1% of the top 10% of the... Of the, the no, no, you're getting it wrong. wrong. All right, what is it? It's the top 1%. The top 1%, that's of what I top said. Of the top 10%. Of the top 10%. Of the top 8%. Of the top 8%, you're throwing Absolute, in an 8. you got to follow the new statistics. They come out every month. You have a way of, not only through words, but also through your hands, talking to an audience, communicating your message. The wingspan. The wingspan. What exactly is the wingspan? It's over six feet. Yeah, absolutely. Over to the, I've heard that the wingspan look, look, look. is about. I can't even do it. I'm not. The people are already cheering. I see this. Birds could be landing any moment now. But people don't fully understand. You do all these gestures. Yes. It's part of my exercise regimen. That's right. There's little weights. So you're giving they a speech. Important, but at the same time, keeping healthy. That we're doing that stuff. Yes. Let me ask you. And when I say that, I'm going to ask myself, like a madman. You have uh, the plan for national rent control. This is a revolutionary plan. I don't think it goes far enough. I, I want to know if there's possible that by executive order, you could order the damn landlord to finally fix the sink that's sagging off the wall. I'm going to have my attorney general look at that. That's I good. mean, that is a that's real... Fair. How, fa how, how bad is that sag? Well, it's been sink. It's been, there, there's a little bit of a leak. It's sagging off the wall. It's, a, it's not a caulking issue because there's nothing structural and holding the sink up. the landlord is not fixing it. The landlord never returns your phone calls. He always says, I'll call you back. He never right. does. Do you think that I don't notice that the real reason you want a Green New Deal is because you and I share a great desire to cosplay and dress up as a green Franklin Delano Roosevelt and that a Green New Deal is the shortest you're telling me. way to do don't, that. Don't reveal this. I have nothing to mulch but mulch itself. I tried to match the suit. What size is it? I got. I asked for a size rumpled. Size rumpled. It. But but here's the secret. Sure. Here's the secret. You got to sit on the suit. So you get into the car, take it off, you put it down, you sit on it. Yeah. It's I a mean, good anybody cushion. can have a rumpled suit, but there is a real art to the rumple. I slept on this in a garage. Not enough. You got to go back and sleep on it again. Much Bernie. Student, much student. And the pants. I, I, I detect the crease there. The crease. Well, I, the went shoes, great, I went to great... I went to great... polished. The, the, You're the, trying to look the like... The shoes me. are not polished. They're orthopedic. You've suggested... And I agree with you on this. I don't agree with myself on everything. <laughs> I actually filibusted. I don't remember if you, if you remember this. <laughs> I filibusted myself. You did. Yes, right. I did. Right. Let me ask you this. Eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours. Damn sick, right? And, and you were filibustering right back at me. <laughs> Imagine how I felt. Go in with a crowbar. Go in brick by brick. There's cobblestones. Rip up the pavement. Do some urban play. Go in to Wall Street. Take it all out. Lay it in. Put in a bike lane. Maybe some food trucks. This is a very creative thought. And the bull. They've got the big bull there oh, on Wall God, Street. Yeah, we can set know. him free, unlock him. We'll put and a little bird in there. How's that? Put a little bird on his head, and it would be like a little Disney cartoon where he's got a best friend. <laughs> and he can go run around in Vermont up on a farm somewhere. There you go. You've done a lot in the last 48 hours. You did 500 events. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes, obviously, it takes a stress on your voice. You don't always sound quite 99% all there. I got a little gift for you, if you're interested. Just a spoonful of honey to goggle oh. at some of the events. From my universe to yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <clears throat> we got to be careful, though, because the bees are endangered. I and I think that the worker bees particularly deserve a living wage. You are obviously a prominent advocate of Medicare for all. Do you think that there's a way that that could be expanded to a pilot program for psilocybin mushrooms for all who want it? <laughs> Maybe that's a program people could opt out of. <laughs> Free 
college tuition, which is Public ambitious. Public colleges and universities. Yes. Right. It's ambitious, but I believe it is truly within reach. But I, again, don't think it goes far enough. You could have a program to offer free improv classes to young, aspiring comedians around the country as long as they are under the age of 30 and it is a reputable, accredited four-year improv program. You're suggesting in a world facing many, many challenges. Yes, free and improv. people started laughing more. That's what I'm suggesting, we yes. We could probably address the climate change crisis. On stage, at least. Low wages, Shame. criminal justice. No choice. All right, all right, I like that, I like it. You have called for a federal jobs guarantee. Including improv, improv actors. I'm yes, saying, yes, and? In fact, they will be the main part of this jobs guarantee. Oh, Anybody good. who wants to go into improv, they got a job. You have also called for a living wage across the board. I have? Yes. At least, what, 15 bucks an hour? At least. And you could form a union? So you believe that improvisers deserve to be paid, comedic improvisers, 15 bucks an hour for and, their labor? Absolutely. And the right to form a union. Influencers. Internet, Instagram, influencers. 15, 15 bucks an 15 hour. 15 bucks. Now, this is controversial. Guest performers on comedy podcasts deserve 15 Absolutely. bucks an hour. <laughs> well, then you got me in a bit of a bind here. I'm good. I'm good with my word. There's 15 There's bucks. The, all right. Thank all you right, very fine. much. 15 Let's bucks see. an hour. That's a fair wage for somebody on a podcast. And wait a minute. This has not even been an hour. This is good. When Donald Trump comes at us and says, crazy Bernie, when Donald Trump calls me crazy Bernie, he calls you crazy Bernie, what will the response be? He says, oh, crazy Bernie. What are you going to come back at during the debate on stage? Mr. President, people who live in glass houses should not be throwing rocks. I would say very politely, Mr. President, with all due respect, shut the F up. The important point is, the important point is, respect. Yes. With all due respect. With all due respect. I think that he looks like Chucky, the evil doll from the movie Child's Play. Especially when he tries to smile. Then yes, he looks like a monster. Senator, we have to go to the CDD. Oh, we got to, okay, good. We've got to, it's time to go to the forum, I think. Oh, which, who are you, which one? What, what can you plug? Thank you for coming on this podcast. What do you want to plug before you get out of here? Any big projects? I guess you're running for president. That's as big a project as I have right now. So they can go to what, BernieSanders.com? BernieSanders.com. Have you heard of my podcast, uh, one that I frequently have my audio leaked to called The Underculture? Yeah. yeah. So the way people would go to that would be theunderculture.com. <clears throat> Bernie, however far you think that your hands are going, go one inch further. We will try, Bernie. Bernie, Thank keep you. up the good Bernie, work. Bernie, I appreciate that. Bernie, Thank you. I appreciate being here with you. Thank you. All right. I respect this. Thank you so much, Bernie.